take my Prada photos. I brought you guys here because I feel like this is the best place for you guys to kind of get a view of how I take my product photos. Hopefully this helps you guys when you want to take your product photos for your business. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys want to know or want like a separate video of where I got some of the stuff in this video. I will definitely do that for you guys. You guys know <laughs> I do live in Canada and some of the stuff I've had them kind of for years like my camera I have two cameras. I have a vlogging camera and then I have a main camera, which is a big one. I purchased that camera in 2000 and I would say 14, 13. I would say 13, 2013 I purchased it. Um, I was working full time. I started YouTube in 2009. If you guys know my other YouTube channel, which is Beauty Doll Cooley. So it was just a way for me to just get over my anxiety when I was younger. I had like severe anxiety. Like I did not like to meet new people, speak to people. I didn't like change. Like it's just my anxiety was really bad when I was younger. So something I noticed was that when I was in front of the camera, it was like my anxiety disappeared. I got into modeling and I also decided to just start doing videos and I started to like rant and talk and that's just how it started to be and I love beauty I love fashion if you know me if you know me from high school days I went to a uniform school and I never wore the uniform as I was supposed to wear the uniform and I went to a Catholic uniform school and I would always break the rules because I always had like this fashion for passion and I loved makeup like my teachers would always ask me about my eyeshadow and you know all this stuff but it's weird, as I got older, I kind of started to transition into the natural skin community. My acne started to act up when I got older. As I got into my 20s, I started developing cystic acne and it was just really bad. So I got into skincare and that's where I started getting a passion for the natural skin. So if you guys hear me throughout any of the vlogs saying that like my skin's breaking out and it's pissing me off, that's because like I really seen my skin at the worst and I never want it to go back there again my skin has been healing from those breakouts that I told you guys about it has been healing I have this in my ear because I was taking a phone call so <laughs> take that out yeah my skin has been healing that's a mole by the way but yeah I still have like little partial breakouts that need to be fixed and then yeah but for the most part it has been healing which i'm very grateful for i'm still drinking my water i drink more than i would say four liters a day like i'm like as a fish is in water that's how i am with water <laughs> so anyways we're gonna get into this stuff so i'm gonna show you guys what i do i purchased again diamond collection right so i purchased these little diamond accent pieces i bought it at the dollar store it was 150 which I have to write down because you know so they look like this and they actually light and they light with different colors which is perfect so but I'm just gonna have them like this for now we're gonna take two sets of photos one for um, I wish I had more because then I could have had two in the back but it's okay so two sets of photos one for IG and then some photos for the website I'm gonna start with the Amore body scrub it's like that and so just place it right in the middle like so I have my camera and I have this little hole in here just pop it like so so i can find the view or i can push it down or whatever i choose to do i'm gonna pop it upward turn on camera and so i have to manually focus this because That's the only thing I don't like about this camera, I have to manually focus. Okay. I want 
my flash to be on. I haven't used this in so long. Um, so I'm not in this mode. your photos like a baby treat them like you are literally creating a beautiful masterpiece right now i need water but i need water once again hey y'all so it's currently 2 30 i just finished taking all of the product photos that i had to take for today i took my foaming body scrub photos all 13 of them i have 13 16 all 16 of them i have 16 different body scrub types so i took all those photos and then i took my wand tubes and i also took squeeze tube photos too as well which is the glam doll collection squeeze tubes so yeah took the regular ones too as well and those are for wholesale so it's really good because once you take those photos and they go on your side, it's a sigh of relief because you don't have to take those photos again, except when you have a new product that you're launching, but I'm not going to launch all 16 of my foaming bath scrubs, but I just wanted to take the photos so that way I have them already saved in my archives and then I just have to upload them tomorrow, edit them, etc. So right now, I'm literally, sorry I put this I'm literally about to go take a shower, my second shower for the day, and then I am going to um, upload the photos that I took onto my computer from my camera, and then the ones on my phone, I'm going to send them to my other phone that has more space, and tomorrow i'm going to edit them and tonight i think i'm just gonna watch a vlog or a youtube video or a movie or a show i'm not quite sure i've been watching this show called the maid let me know if you guys have seen it it's literally sorry guys i'm just trying to make my tripod smaller it's a show called the maid i'm gonna put you guys right hi so it's on netflix i'm not sure if you guys have seen it but yeah i'm kind of liking that show it's about this woman that leaves a mentally abusive relationship but it is abusive because he is still i mean although he's not putting his hands on her where she thinks like, oh, a man has to put his hands on you to be abusive. He's still abusive because he's throwing things at her. Um, he threw he threw a glass that literally almost hit their daughter's head. Like that's still abuse. It doesn't matter how you form it. But I get the show because some women really think that like if they don't hit you they're not abusive get out of any abusive relationships guys like don't stay in that better than that i don't care how much they plead with you beg with you i don't care how much they tell you they're gonna change they're never gonna change and once you allow them to remain in your life they realize that you're weak and when they see that you're weak they're gonna keep going keep going and manipulating you so they need help like anyone who feels like it is okay man or woman to put your hands on someone you need help they need help like serious help so these are fully charged i'm gonna put them in oh let me actually show you guys because why not i am vlogging so i want you guys to see this before i put it away plus i'm gonna put the other battery in my
That's fun. Hey guys, I'm sorry if the view is a little bit messed up, but it's because I forgot my thing. I have to make a phone call. I have to call one of my friends from like university. So I'm going to call her right now. I'm just going to see how she is. I haven't spoken to anybody in like the longest time. So let me check in on her. I'm going to the nail salon. I'm going to go do my refill. Here she is. Let me just call her. I told her I was gonna call her on this time. She has an appointment for due to insufficient balance. What? Because I don't understand why it's doing that, but maybe she wrote down the wrong number or something, so I'm gonna have to message her. Hold on. Remember I was telling you guys what happened with me and this car situation and this whole whole situation yeah I don't know what's been going on with my car lately but you know what whatever it is I literally have to say I put it in God's hands because I really don't have time in my life for this nonsense like this is just ridiculous I really don't I really don't but I'm gonna call her I decided to put my hair in like a whatever half up half down situation you're not supposed to be on your phone while you're driving by the way in this country <laughs> I don't think in any country oh potholes Make sure I copied it correctly. I'm gonna ask her what number is that because I can't even face. Um, can I buy phone her? Whatever it's called, video chat her. Maybe that will help. I can WhatsApp call her though. Maybe I can try that when I get to the um place over there I'll try to like video call her my appointment was for 11 it's currently 1 I didn't go to sleep until like 7 in the morning 7 25 in the morning that's when I went to sleep and that guy did not put his blinkers on and I thought he was turning right come to find out he puts his blinkers on after he turns and he's turning left my mechanic told me if like my car has any issues to call him and stuff like that in the past three weeks i've spent 320 something dollars on my car and i've been looking at the positive looking at the positive okay guys so these are my nails as you guys to see it looks kind of bulky but like it's not but i felt like she rushed it this week and my eyebrows are freaking hurting me she did my eyebrows and i don't know i felt like she rushed my crap today Sorry guys, I'm trying to peek because I'm leaving this mall and I can't see thing. Like slowly squeezing out. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like she rushed my nails this week. Like it's just not up to par this week for some reason. I don't know. I just felt like she rushed them. Like she did not take her time. That's what I felt like this week. And my eyebrows are freaking hurting me so badly. Like she just yoinked it like i'm like what's going on with her today like i get it i get that like you want your um customers to come through but that does not mean that you have to just 
you know treat your regular customers like that because that's wrong you get what i'm saying like i hate that with nail salons when they get busy and it's like a holiday or a long weekend they want to rush you but why are you trying to rush my nails when i'm paying so much money to get it done like i paid 60 bucks no i paid 65 bucks to get my nails done 65 bucks to get my nails done that's ridiculous i've never spent 65 dollars for a refill before but we're talking like a refill basic shellac i did my toes i did my nails i did my eyebrows and it cost me 180 120 bucks so how in the world does a refill a refill cost me 65 dollars it's just because the owner wasn't there today but i know the owner i had to really like get on her about my nails i was like no you gotta fix the shape like don't do my shape like that because that's my nails right i'm very particular when it comes to how my nails look the shape of my nails the color like i'm a particular person with my nails and my hair if my nails and my hair are not done properly i start losing it like dead serious like i'm not even playing around like i start losing it because i like my nails and my hair to be done properly like real properly so i don't play when it comes to my nails and my hair i'm heading home now and then i'm gonna come straight back down to this location because um my sister wants to get some stuff so i'm literally gonna drive back down again to the same location i was just at and then uh, go to the food place the color and the choice of my nails i feel like these are so cute but i just hope that it's not bulky so when i go home i'm gonna look at them and make sure like they're not bulky and everything is good but if i'm not satisfied with my nails we have a problem i did my brows and i still feel like i'm gonna fix this piece over here because she didn't do that piece properly i have to get gas too as well in canada gas prices has gone up food prices has gone up it's just expensive to live in not just canada it, actually yeah because i've seen some people talking about up north but it's expensive to live in toronto too as well like toronto is a very expensive city to live in everything is expensive there's like an inflation with homes like you're paying over prices the inflation of prices have really gone up like badly so yeah it's just ridiculous at this point it's just ridiculous so i'm gonna call my sister and see where she is my thirst is ridiculous like i'm thirsty but yeah i was telling you guys about i was able to turn the camera but i'm just hella pissed off with her like she did not do look at this like i have wax still on my face like so do you see this it's not even even like and my eyebrow is like irritated for some reason my eyebrows irritated 